Hey friends, welcome back to Homestead on a Prayer. We are here today with the Azure Hall for the month of August. As you can see, I got a nice good size haul this month. We got quite a bit of stuff. I've got some, as always, you know, pretty much every month I say this, but it's always true every month. I've got some tried and true favorites that I buy either every month or pretty regularly. I've also got some new products that I'm trying for the first time. So I always like to try some new products and that way I can give you guys my opinion on what things I really like to get from Azure. So before we jump into the haul, I just want to mention if the audio quality is a little less than usual, I apologize for that. One of my connecting cords for my microphone is missing, so I'm trying to do the best I can without it. So I hope that you'll bear with me despite that and that you'll enjoy this Azure haul. So let's jump right in and I'll show you guys what I got. So first of all, this month I am restocking this central milling flower. This is pretty much my favorite flower to buy. So this is 100% organic flour. Now, if you've been around my channel for a while, you know that I really do love to bake. I bake a lot of bread, but I also bake a lot of other things like cookies and desserts, pizza crust, all kinds of things like that. We go through a lot of flour in my house, so I find that it is most economical, especially because we want to use a really high quality organic flour. It's most economical to buy our flour in 50 pound bags. So every couple months, I will buy a 50 pound bag of flour and then I just usually store it in a couple five gallon food grade plastic buckets fitted with gamma lids. So that will really help preserve the shelf life of our flour, help it last as long as possible. So I hadn't bought flour in a couple months and while I still do have a fairly good supply in my basement, I like to make sure that I never run low on it. So I have a few of those five gallon buckets that I've emptied, used up all that flour so it was time to restock. So I got a 50 pound bag of this. Next, again, if you've been around for a while, you know that I love this chocolate from Azure. This is a Theo brand. This is organic, fair trade, dark chocolate, and this is the salted toffee flavor. This is my favorite flavor of all the flavors that I've tried, but honestly, all the ones that I've tried are delicious. This one just happens to be my favorite. Now, you may notice I've gotten a little more chocolate this month than normal. My family kind of caught on to my secret chocolate that I buy myself every month and had requested some for them as well. So this month we have six bars of this chocolate. I like to buy this in the three pack because I find that it's a little more economical that way. It costs a little bit less per chocolate bar. So this month I bought two of the three packs. So I will be sharing this with my family and my husband and my son especially really do enjoy this chocolate. So we will really enjoy this. Now, this product is another tried and true. These are the organic onions from Azure. I like to buy the 10 pound bag, and as you can see, these are really nice large onions. They've always been really high quality. They last really well for me. They have a great flavor. I love that they're organic. And compared to organic onions at my grocery store, they are a really good price. So I do like to buy those every couple months. These, this bag will probably last me maybe two months or so. It really, it's kind of hard to estimate that. It really does vary a lot depending on what I actually cook that month. But I do like to buy these onions. I was running a little bit low, so we're restocking those. Next, I got a six pack of this kombucha. Now this is Lionheart Kombucha. This flavor is Raspberry Harvest. This kombucha was actually on sale this month, so I decided to try this. Now, if you've been around on my channel for a while, you may have seen my video, I think I posted it last winter, about making water kefir. I know I'm not pronouncing that right, so feel free to correct me in the comments. But as I said, I know that's not correct. But I do make that. That's a great source for probiotics. Now, this summer, I had a lot of stuff going on. You know, I had the normal busyness of summer and just kind of a little bit of a looser schedule, but still being really busy. And on top of that, I broke my toe. So I have a little bit, I fell behind on a lot of things and I let my kefir grains die. So I am planning to restock that probably in the fall when we're in a little bit more of a, of a routine schedule. But in the meantime, I didn't want to go completely without probiotics. So I did get a six pack of this kombucha. This brand of kombucha was on sale this month. So that was kind of an incentive to try it. Now over here, you'll see I also got a six pack of this flavor. This is basically the same product, but this is a wild blueberry flavor. So we're really excited to have both of those. Now, if you're really observant, you may have noticed that I said I got a six pack of this kombucha, but you'll notice that I only have five cans here. Dan and I did split a can last night with dinner. So probably that's what we'll do is probably every couple days, Dan and I will split a can of the kombucha. We did like the raspberry harvest. I will say personally, 
I prefer the flavor of kefir water as opposed to the flavor of kombucha, which is one of the reasons why that's what I choose to make myself. But that being said, it was still good and I really still do like getting that probiotic boost. So we are going to enjoy these for the next few weeks. Now here you'll see I'm also restocking my Stacy's Organic Tortillas. I have been buying these tortillas from Azure for quite a while and I've consistently been happy with them. I buy them in a pack of three of these packages. I wanna say there's eight tortillas in each of these packages and I buy them in a set of three of those packages. So this month I did purchase two of the three packs. So we have six of these packages of tortillas these do come frozen, so what I do is I just store them in my freezer until basically the day of or the day before I want to use them. I'll just take them out and let them defrost in my counter. But I find that they store really well that way. We've been really happy with them. The ingredients are better than what I can find in tortillas at my local grocery store. Next, I am restocking my mozzarella cheese. So this is these come in roughly five pound blocks. You can see this one is actually about five and three quarters pounds of cheese. So by buying cheese in bulk like this, you know, this is a big five pound block of cheese. So by buying the cheese in bulk like that, I'm able to get a higher quality product at a more affordable price. So I've been doing that every couple months, I will buy some more cheese. Now I do like to get the mozzarella cheese, the sharp cheddar cheese and the Monterey Jack cheese. I buy all of those consistently through Azure. I have also purchased pepper jack and Swiss cheese in the past as well. I've been happy with all of them. Now this is actually, it doesn't say on the label here, but this is actually the Rumiano family. That's the brand, it's Rumiano family organic mozzarella cheese. And that is the same company that makes my favorite butter, which once again, you will notice is absent from this order. I'm officially out of that butter and I was really hoping to get some this month. But something about the order cycle that I'm in right now, I just can't seem to get that butter in stock when it's time for me to actually order. So say a little prayer for me that hopefully next month I'll finally be able to restock that butter because not having it is gonna drive me a little bit crazy. I'm especially gonna have to stock up on that butter as we go into fall and winter when I'll be baking a lot more. Now, because I just showed you guys a lot of cold and frozen food items, I'm gonna pause this video here. I'm gonna get all that stuff put away. I'll meet you back here in just a minute to show you the rest of my shelf stable products. I got my perishable items put away. So now let's talk about the rest of these shelf stable items here. Now you will notice, I mentioned that my cold and frozen items have been put away. These boxes are actually empty. You know, every month, I pretty much do this every month because I don't like to leave my frozen fruit out on the counter. But I did get two boxes of frozen fruit here and then I took the fruit out and actually put that in my freezer. So here I got five pounds of organic blueberries from Azure and I also got five pounds of raspberry pieces. I've been really happy with the quality of the frozen fruit from Azure. So especially the berries I've bought pretty consistently. I like to get the raspberry pieces because it is so much cheaper than buying the whole raspberries. And honestly, for what I'm using my frozen raspberries for, the pieces work completely fine. I also find it's a really good price for the blueberries. Sometimes I do buy the strawberries and the cranberries as well, but I would say probably the raspberries and blueberries are my most frequent go-to purchases. So I've been really happy with those. Next, I'm restocking my organic blackstrap molasses. Now, my main use for this molasses is for making brown sugar. Brown sugar, if you've never tried to make it, it is so easy to make. Basically, all you need is your regular white sugar and you need molasses. I like to use blackstrap because it has a little bit higher iron content and also a little bit of a richer, slightly more bitter flavor. Just a little hint of bitterness, I find really cuts through the sweetness of the sugar really well. So I like to make my own brown sugar because I'm able to choose the type of molasses and control the quality of ingredients. So I can use my really high quality organic cane sugar that I like to cook with and also this blackstrap molasses. And I find that combined that makes a really good high quality brown sugar at a much lower price. If I was to buy, if I was to look for brown sugar pre-made the way I like it, it would be very expensive. So I find that by making it myself, I'm able to get again, a higher quality product at a lower price. Next, I'm restocking my balsamic vinegar. I like to get this four-star balsamic vinegar. It's a little bit higher quality. And one of the things that I like to do, especially I buy the four-star organic vinegar when I want to make balsamic glaze. So basically what I like to do is just simmer this balsamic vinegar at a, really, at a low temperature for a while until it's reduced by about half. It'll get a little bit thicker, a little bit syrupy, and then it's really concentrated 
and it's really good to kind of use as a finishing glaze. So I like to use that on top of say bruschetta or something like that that I make for the summer. So I really, as I said, I like to get the higher quality vinegar for that because I find you have to simmer it a little bit less you get a little bit more glaze for the same amount of vinegar. Next, I got a three pack of these late July nacho cheese tortilla chips. I really like these. They're sort of a healthier Dorito substitute. Now, of course they don't taste exactly like Doritos, but they still have that same type of kind of spicy, cheesy flavor. So while I find the ingredient list isn't perfect, I find it's pretty rare to find a snack food that has perfect ingredients, especially a snack food that tastes really good, that has perfect ingredients. It's definitely challenging to find, but I will say that this is a lot better and a lot cleaner than similar products that I would find at my local grocery store. So I do really enjoy these as an occasional indulgence. Now this month from Azure, I'm also trying a couple different non-food products. For the most part, I think most people think of Azure, and I do too, as a bulk food supplier. And that honestly is, I think, where they really shine. Now, you know, like my 50 pound bag of flour, I buy sugar in bulk, rice in bulk, things like that from them. And I think that they really do offer a great product at a great price for those type of items. But I decided to branch out a little bit and try some new things this month. So I got these cut and slice flexible cutting boards. Now I find, honestly, and if you cook a lot, you may find the same thing. I never have enough cutting boards. It seems like they're always dirty, they're always used for something. And while I really do like a nice high quality wood cutting board, sometimes I like something like this that can go through the dishwasher, especially if I'm going to be cutting meat or something like that on it. I don't like to cut meat on wood because I worry about being able to get it completely clean. So I like to use plastic, as I said, something that can go in the dishwasher and get sanitized for something like that. Now, these are also flexible, as you can see. So I was thinking these would be really good for chopping something especially when you're chopping a lot of something finely that you want to just be able to kind of slide into your pot. So I decided to give these a try. I will let you know how I like these. Um, hopefully they do really well. I think that I think that we'll probably enjoy these. Now the last product I got this month, I have been wanting something like this for a little while. And now that, as much as it pains me to say it, I know holiday baking season isn't that far away. So I, right now, I just have a tiny little cooling rack for cookies and it really isn't good enough. So this nice three tier rack, I decided to try this because I bake a lot of cookies. Even in the fall, I bake quite a few cookies, but especially as we get closer to Christmas, I'm going to be baking a lot. My daughter likes to bake a lot too. So between the two of us, we always have some kind of project going on and it will be really helpful to have something like this. So now this is something I could have bought anywhere, honestly. Um, I just decided to try it through Azure because I like to support that company and because I was placing an order with them anyway. So again, I'm sure if you stick around with my channel, you will see me use this during Christmas time as we bake lots of cookies together. So that's my Azure haul for the month of August. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all these products that I've purchased. And I really do hope that you'll stick with me and see how we're going to use a lot of these products together. Now, if you're new to Azure, if you haven't purchased from them before and you're interested in giving them a try, I am gonna go ahead and leave my referral link in the video description. If you sign up to Azure using my referral link, that does give my channel a little thank you referral bonus. So thank you so much if you choose to do that. Now, there's absolutely no obligation. Don't feel like you have to use that link. But again, it really does help support my channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra, so I do really appreciate it. So thank you guys so much again for hanging out with me in my kitchen today and just taking a look at everything I got. I hope that you guys are having a great day and I can't wait to see you soon. I'll see you next time.